What's going on guys, TKD123 back a video, and uh, ever since E3 we've got a ton of new stuff coming out of the new CODs are coming out this November, aka Infinite Warfare, COD 4 Remaster, and then uh, we got a bunch of gameplay and stuff like that, so I'm going to dive into it and give you guys my opinions on said gameplays. Again, they'll be in the description, links down below, because I don't believe I could put them on my channel, you know, due to uh, copyright stuff, so I'm just going to have them linked down below, so feel free to uh, check them out after this video, and uh, alright, let's get into it. First up on the Judgment Ballot is Infinite Warfare. We got a brand new campaign section that's called Black Sky. Uh, we got, it was a pretty long gameplay. It was around like, I think 13 minutes or so. It was a pretty, you know, beefy and uh, a lot of stuff was in it. So, you know, the first off things that I got off the bat was that the game looks fun, right? That's something that I wasn't expecting really because, you know, you know, overall kind of, I was really expecting a lot out of this game just because, you know, of all the stuff that's been going on with the drama, you know, with the uh, boost jump and all that stuff. And also, this gameplay was so vastly different than what they showed at E3, right? So, E3 had a lot of stuff that was in space, right? They had a lot of space combat, a lot of gameplay in space, like actual, you know, gunplay, stuff like that. But this one was actually on Earth, boots on the ground gameplay, right? You didn't see any boots jumping or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? So, it was very grounded. I did see a lean feature, okay? Now, the... Lean feature was from Ghost, right? So what it was where you would get into a corner and your character would automatically pop out from the corner, like it's top half of its body so you could lean and shoot guys while you were still in cover, right? But um, I saw that definitely in this gameplay, so I believe that is definitely making a return to multiplayer. And there wasn't any boost jumping in this gameplay, right? Which just leads me to believe that not that it won't be in the game. I'm pretty certain that it will be in the game, right? I'm pretty certain, guys. It's going to be in the game. Boost jumping is going to be in the game. But I believe that they didn't show it, you know, right now in this game just because of the backlash that that's been happening with the COD community, how they don't really want this new thing to exist with the boost jumping and all that. And so they kind of just wanted to keep it boots on the ground, you know, to keep that thing kind of, you know, away from the people as much as possible, right? So I don't think that they won't, <laughs> that does make sense. I don't think that they won't have boost jumping in the game. I'm pretty sure it's going to be in the game, but they just, you know, decided to just kind of gonna keep it, you know, in the background for right now. All the guns were crisp and nice looking, and they all sounded really nice too. They all had that, you know, kind of mom for two sound of it, you know, not all of them, but, you know, it had that authentic sound to all the guns where they sounded different and vastly different from everything else, you know, from the other guns, right? So there was an SMG that sounded completely different from an AR, which, you know, is common to see, but, you know, it's it had a different vast feel to both of them, right? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, it had a different feeling to the gun, right? So which is something that, you know, I definitely appreciate. Small things I noticed was that while you were watching the gameplay, there was a moment when a enemy threw a nade right in front of your character and so your character saw it backed up a little bit and then when the nade went off he raised his hand to kind of like reduce the impact of the nade that just went off so that's something that you know we have not seen in call of duty it's you know it's a little thing but hey it's the small minute details that count you know what i'm saying and overall you know if you've played cod you know all these years it was call of duty but it looked refined it looked you know great in my opinion you know it had nice vivid colors and effects and all that and you know just to me personally i feel like you know this this it looked fun it looked fun that's all i'm gonna say it looked fun i'm not saying it's fun i didn't play it, obviously but i'm just saying based off of what we've seen uh it looks promising next up we got some cod 4 remastered gameplay if you look at me right now i'm rubbing my hands together <laughs> but let's get right into the cod 4 stuff i do not understand how they made cod 4 look this good cod 4 has never looked better right it looks amazing right it is crazy how they brought a nearly 10 year old game back to modern day graphics it looks insane from the lighting the sound the weather effects all of it it looks super clean and crisp and uh it looks it looks awesome and again back at again with the minute details right so there was a point in the Gameplay, you're playing, um, I know the map was called Wetwork, but I forgot what this, you know, individual campaign was called. But the first half of the gameplay, you are fighting outside, it's raining, it's storming, right? But then when you go inside, your gun is still wet from being outside, right? And then there's a point, a couple minutes after that, where you pick up a enemy's gun that has been inside, and that enemy has not gone outside, so you pick up his weapon, and it's dry, right? So it's just like the small details like that where, you know, it kind of brings it up to another level that we haven't seen before, and it brings it up to a level of refinement that, you know, is something that is unexpected from a HD remaster of an old game. And, you know, they probably did this just because, you know, of the nostalgic 
presence that COD 4 has, right? COD 4 is a Call of Duty game that everyone, you know, adores, right? Everyone loves it, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you played COD 4 back in its heyday, I didn't, but if you played COD 4 back in its heyday, you know, COD 4 has a, has a special place in COD players' hearts, right? So, you know, to treat this COD 4 HD remaster as just kind of like a, you know, up the resolution and that's it, right? It would be kind of be, you know, letting it down in a way, you know what I'm saying? You have to bring it up to a certain level, and uh, they definitely did it based off this gameplay. It looks great. It sounds great. Um, COD 4 is going to be amazing. I will be definitely playing a lot of COD 4 on the channel. Be sure to check that out this November. And uh, you will definitely be seeing a lot of COD 4 multiplayer and all that good stuff. The last piece of news, which is arguably my favorite piece of news out of this whole thing, maybe, ar arguably, most likely, right, is that we are getting Terminal in Infinite Warfare. Yes, one of the iconic maps from MW2 is coming back in Infinite Warfare, but not just the same terminal, though. Not the exact same terminal. What they've done is that they have turned terminal into a moon terminal, right? So the map takes place on the moon in some sort of moon spacecraft port where, you know, I guess they refuel or do whatever they do at moon ports. I don't know what they do, but uh, it is a moon terminal. And the reason why they kind of, you know took me aback at this is because like that is such a unique and interesting idea to bring back an old map you know what i'm saying kind of to bring it back you know not completely change the map and just you know have a different feeling a different you know story to the map but have the same exact lanes and layout of the map instead of doing that they literally just took terminal and made it into the future and like it still retained you know it's terminal esque vibes where you know there's planes but they're just spacecrafts now you know what i'm saying like they they completely just you know kept the terminal feeling and narrative to the map but updated it to infinite warfare which is something that you know is great and commendable and uh as something that i'm going to be definitely getting my hands on terminal is one of like the top 10 percent mw2 maps you know for sure right and i would love to see them bring back favela That'd be so cool to bring back that map because, you know, it's big, it's massive, and there's a plenty, you know, of spaces to wall run, I guess, kind of in the inside of the map. So I definitely think that, you know, Favela could be on the uh, map packs, maybe, hopefully, possibly. There is one catch of this, though. You have to pre-order the game to get this. So this is going to be a bonus only for people that go to GameStop or go online on their services and uh, buy the game prematurely in a pre-order so definitely if you guys want hands on this map i know i do i'm gonna be i'm gonna be going to gamestop right this probably and getting that uh you know code for all that so uh, if you guys want to play terminal on infinite warfare make sure to pre-order infinite warfare and that is all i got for today's video if you guys enjoyed down below you can leave some comments let me know what you guys want to see in infinite warfare any maps from Warfare 2 any maps from ghost hopefully not from ghost but uh, any old maps that you like to see in infinite warfare let me know down in the comments below let's have a discussion also while you're down there check out my links down below in my description you can find my instagram snapchat twitter all that good stuff where you can follow me on there and also down below if you guys support the content support the channel please like share subscribe all that good stuff i really do appreciate every single interaction you guys do to the channel i really appreciate it thank you guys for watching and as always i got you